show you one technique for a background replacement in Photoshop. So we'll start with this background from our Floral Stucco collection. And in another window here, I have a baby, and I want to replace this gray background uh, with the Floral Stucco. So we're going to grab the Move tool, which is selected here, and let's click on the baby, and let's drag it up to the Background tab, and then drop it onto the canvas. And then we're going to um, move this around, size it if you'd like to. I actually kind of like the size of that, so I'll just sort of position it right about there, I think. And the next thing we're going to want to do is select the background. So let's go over here. Um, we'll grab our quick selection tool. And you can just grab the gray parts here. That looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and choose our Select and Mask tool. And this is great um, if you're working in Photoshop CC 2015 and above. This is a, probably the main reason to get it. It's such a fantastic tool. So you can see that it did select the background here. Uh, we're going to want to come down here and just click on the Invert button. And you can see um, I've chosen the view here to, to um, be on layers, which means I can see the background behind it. Um, so that looks good. And really all we've got to do at this point is grab our Refine Edge tool, which is the second tool right here. And let's just go along the edges. And it'll basically um, smooth out your edges. It'll sort of determine um, uh, the background. It'll separate the background, um, sort of smooth out all of the jagged areas here. And it's really just, it's a super tool. And it just it does very quick calculations. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, one thing you might notice up here, though, there is some fringing um, sort of around the ears of this hat because it's picking up those thin um, fibers you know, along that gray um, background. So it, that's a really good case for using um, our decontaminate colors option. So I'm going to just check that off and keep an eye on that area. You'll see how it changed. Um, it basically takes um, colors that are close um, to the edge and it fills it so that you're not seeing um, that real stark contrast. I actually like to, I, I usually think 100% is a little too much. I start at 50 and kind of see how that looks because you want it to be realistic. We might even bump that up to about maybe about 60. And that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what that will do is it'll create a layer here um, on a mask with a mask on it. And you'll have your original layer underneath, which it is turned off. Um, now the next thing I would do is I would take this background, I would click on it, and let's come up to Filter, and let's blur this. So let's go down to our Gaussian Blur, and let's just sort of move your slider um, to where it looks um, sort of like believable. You want it to be not as um, sharp as your image, so you want to blur it somewhat. I think around 7 is probably pretty good. Um, and, and that's about it. There are other options you certainly could do. You've got the layer underneath here still. You could um, certainly turn that layer on, click on it, and bring your fill down and sort of, you know, play around somewhat, um, you know, adding those layers in. And you could even change the um, layer mode, say, to overlay and just sort of move around with your fill layers. Um, and that's kind of nice because what it does is it sort of brings in the lighting on the back of your wall. Since we were working with a gray, this works out very nicely. Um, so that's it. That's one method for background replacement. Mm -hmm.